Alright, so let's talk about Galaxy Express 999. So this is based on an anime series, you know, it started off as a manga, as most anime does. But it was actually adapted into an anime series um, later on, and uh, yeah, apparently they uh, kind of condensed some episodes into a movie, and yeah, that's the movie I'm reviewing here. So that's something they, yeah, that, that's something they apparently have done quite a few times in Japan. They take, you know, some stories of a yeah, famous anime, and they put them together into one movie, and, uh, so, yeah, there might be some more of these that I cover, because, you know, I'm a little, uh, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what I should do for the most part when it comes to most anime movies, or, you know, movies based on anime series, because, you know, a lot, I mean, I tend to skip the ones that are just, like, like, either a bunch of episodes from the show just, you know, put together into a movie. I mean, unlike this example where they kind of make make it cinematic, or, you know, well, yeah, instead of uh, condensing stories into a movie adaptation, um, they just kind of show the episodes from the show and... Uh, yeah, it's hard to explain, but yeah, it's a little different in this case, and, uh, yeah, it's, uh, and there's also those ones that are just, like, um, you might as well just call them theatrical OVAs, um, yeah, I skip movies like that, I, I don't have time to cover every single one of them, and I'm probably not gonna be able to follow them anyway. So yeah, anyway, um, so the story is, we got this, uh, or it's the future, and there's this, uh, kid who's, uh, trying to, um, avenge his, uh, dead mother by, uh, going after this, uh, you know, evil robot count, and he, uh, um... Yeah, in order to do so, he wants to get himself a mechanical body. Um, because, yeah, people do that in this, uh, yeah, in this story. They, or yeah, the story's universe, people in the future, uh, you know, I guess, uh, transition, if you will, into robots. Yeah, yeah. So, some interesting commentary in this one that's kind of ahead of its time. Um,. And, uh, so along the way, the kid, uh, runs into this mysterious woman named Maytel, um, and, yeah, the boy's name is Tetsuro Hoshino. Anyway, yeah, so, um, he goes with Maytel, they, uh, yeah, they get on the, uh, Galaxy Express 999, and, uh, yeah, they, uh, they travel across planets, and, uh, you know, uh, along the way, the kid learns a few things about, uh, well, you know, uh, I guess death as well as life, and, uh, you know, um, yeah, there's some commentary on, uh, Yeah, commentary on uh, uh, humanity and, you know, giving up one's humanity for, like, immortality and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a very interesting message, and it's told in a very interesting and imaginative way, and uh, yeah, from what I understand, they condensed a lot from the anime into this movie, so... Um, you know, there's probably a lot of interesting details they left out, but, um, regardless, um, yeah, the concept is very interesting, and, uh, it's very well told, and, 
yeah, I actually am legitimately interested in, like, watching the full anime all the way through one of these days. I mean, I'll pro probably won't get to it anytime soon, but uh, at the very least, I'm thinking about it. Because, um, yeah, I'm very... I was very intrigued by this story, and... Uh, um, and, yeah, there's... Uh, yeah, there's some interesting characters, you, some interesting themes, blah blah blah. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't feel I need to go too much into detail because this is a very complex story and pretty ahead of its time, actually. Um, let's see. Uh, also, um, I guess there's. Um, yeah, I guess this anime shares the same universe as another series about, yeah, Captain Harlock. Um, yeah, I don't know much about uh, that series, but, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Harlock's a cool character, and, uh, you know, yep. There's also uh, Queen Emeraldus. She's, she's cool, too. Um... Yeah, there's quite a few cool characters with cool designs in this movie, so yeah, there's... Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to pretend like I know a whole lot about... Uh, well, just the anime in general, but uh, this movie does have me legitimately interested, and... Uh, yeah... Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm... I guess it's kind of hard for a simple-minded person like myself to talk about, you know, the complicated uh, themes that this uh, movie goes over. And uh, but yeah, it's um, yeah, it's very well told. It's very uh, you know some very interesting themes that it, it explores, and it explores them in a very imaginative way, and. Uh, yeah, consider me. Yeah, consider me legitimately interested in checking out the full anime, and uh, yeah, it's uh, stories ahead of its time. And I think I'm repeating myself on a lot of s stuff, but uh, um, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, it's late. I'm trying to. Um, but. Uh, is there anything else I feel I need to add? Um, well, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but uh, as usual, if there's anything else I do feel I need to add, I'll put it in the comments. Um, and yeah, I highly recommend this movie to anyone who's interested. Any fans of anime, any fans of sci-fi, and uh, yeah, this is a cool, interesting movie, and yeah, I definitely recommend it. Um, and I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I'd give it an even higher rating if it wasn't for the fact that it's kind of like a condensed plot of a much bigger, probably much better full anime series. So, um, so yeah, I think 8 is good enough. Um, so, yeah, um, yeah, this is, uh, another one of those movies that I just can't, uh, yeah, that someone like me just can't quite do justice, because, um, you know, there's a lot to talk about in terms of, like, the themes of the movie and, uh, you know, all these characters. Um, well, I will say they're, uh, one little, uh, Thing to, is that there's kind of an uncomfortable amount of scenes of uh, adult-like female robots um, kind of getting flirty with the kid. Like, we got this 10- to 12-year-old kid, and, uh, you know, uh, the main robot lady, Maytel, like, near the beginning, he sees her in the shower, and, uh, yeah, she doesn't even react. She she doesn't care that he sees her in the shower. Later on, she, like, 
opens up her coat and I'm pretty sure she's naked underneath it. Um, yeah, right in front of him because he, yeah, to warm him from the cold and stuff. Um, and yeah, there's a couple other <laughs> scenes kind of like that and, uh, and yeah, at the end of the movie, uh, Maytel kisses him and I guess it wasn't necessarily supposed to be romantic, but still, um, yeah, they do seem to have some weird, uh, sexual undertones with this kid and all of these female robots that he meets. Um, and, uh, yeah. Also, it doesn't help that, uh, Maytel has, uh, the appearance of his mother without giving too many... Well, I'll try to avoid giving anything away, but, uh... Yeah, just something I thought I'd touch on. Um, so yeah, that's uh, what I go into detail with instead of all of the interesting themes that this movie covers. But yeah, it's a very ahead-of-its-time movie, and again, I highly recommend it. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll leave it at that for now. Mash it and smash it, signing off.